got my block that I'm going to be sending it down to Darton. I got to take it off this so I can go ahead and package it into a box or a tote. They told me that they can tank wash this block so I'm hoping to get it back nice and clean and pretty but we'll see. So I gotta have to take out the squirters and I'm gonna have to take this off and I'm gonna have to take off these. You'll need a T30 star drive. Go ahead and remove that bolt. And then you squirter. Just wiggle it. And it should come out. There we go. That's your squirter. And my next step guys is I'm gonna go ahead and take the crank cap bolts out and then I'm gonna keep these all in order with the bearings and totally disassemble everything off of this block which pretty much I've done already but now I gotta go ahead and take these bolts off so I can pretty much just have a square block and then I might be able to put it in there I might be able to put it in there so I'm gonna move my block right here so you guys can actually get a better picture of it first step go ahead and take out all your bolts now that all your bolts are loose go ahead and wiggle your crank cap off Whoop. don't do what I just did and drop a bolt like I usually do so you guys can see that that's my baron and it's still in the grooves perfectly so I'm going to go slide that bolt back in mind you guys I want to show you that these caps are numbered go ahead and take number two off number three five you have a thrust washer right here which is easily removable there you go that's that one and then you have another one on this side number two so these do have grooves in them it looks like one right there one right there and on the other one but you'll notice on the inside nice and smooth so I will be reordering new ones of these I might be ordering the Clevite from Modern Performance so now we are going to find something to poke these out you can use either a flat head, really small flat head, or I suggest something like this where it has a more sharper distal tip where I actually can poke into something. But mind you, be careful you guys. So I'm going to start off with number three. Let's see if we can get it right here. There we go. There you go. There's the first one. which seems like there is some wear right there so I'm going to leave that right there I'm going to do the same thing for these two oh. these are getting thrown out anyways It's this is what's a big deal and do this one two more This one. 
this one was a little bit easier. So that's one, two, three, four, five that are on the bottom of the block. Then we have these. So I thought I'd show you guys a close up of what these barons look like. This is baron number one. This would be the baron that is actually on the crank cap, okay, side by side, number two, Number three. These are the thrusts. Four. Last but not least, number five. This is where Baron number one would actually fit. But I'm not going to go ahead and put that there because it's not that clean right now. Bunch of sediments on there. But, yeah, that's where your crank sits. And, yeah. And that's my ladder. They call it a ladder, probably because it looks like a ladder. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys like that little short clip. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of that engine stand and I am going to box it. So, time to send it to Darton. Be easy and stay tuned.